Hi friends, welcome back to another Frosty Eye Candy Quickie. We're definitely going to use up all of the last colours here in a kitchen sink pour and as you can see I've got a uh, 12 inch uh, cradle, wooden cradle right here. I've put down around about 200 mill millilitres of paint on there which is about 5 to 6 ounces of, uh, of paint uh, for my pillow. Uh, it's colour to go as you know from the picture at the beginning. So we're just going to get straight down to it. We're going to use up the last of this Deco Art Cool Blue. And generally I like to do a little puddle in the middle and then spirals around. But sometimes I just go crazy. And as this is a kitchen sink pour, why not go crazy? Okay. Now we've got the PBO iridescent blue green going in. Like I said, I did mix these paints up a few days ago. They are a little on the thick side. I thinned them down with a few drops of Zinza latex extender, which seems to work really well and of course much better than just water or adding more flow troll. So this fabulous colour you see me putting down now is what's left of the this little piggy funk. Beautiful, beautiful purple. Now we're going to use what's left of the this little piggy. And this one's called Groovy. And the contrast between these colours is just so amazing. Incredibly vibrant pigments from this little piggy. I cannot praise them enough. I am not sponsored. I wish I was. <laughs> but they are fantastic pigments. Okay, now we've got the last little scrapings of the of the TLP. This one's Comet. And in the last video I put this in just before the cell activator. Because I wanted it to have a bit of a bit of a sheen to it. And this time round, we're going to use Prussian blue as the activator. So the last colour is this one here, it's the Liquitex soft body acrylic fluorescent blue. Excellent. Just going to get my pen, pop a few of these bubbles, ruin their party. He had a friend there, another one there, there. Oh, one there. Another one there. We don't want bubbles in our, in our medium, ideally, because it could promote bringing the pillow colour up through. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, but in some people's books it's not necessarily a good thing. Okay, so I've got the Prussian blue cell activator. Just going to give it a little dollop in the middle after a good stir up. As I said, I did mix these a few days ago, so I'm not sure how they're going to work. So, let me blow this out. Okay, I'm going to try and blow this large piece of activator out a little more. I'm going to blow it out through this way because I like these little cells that are happening here. Okay, I'm going to try with a little bit of straw action now.
Okay, while we're letting the pillow just coming underneath the paints there, I'm going to blow out the edges as usual, but it's looking quite pretty right now as it is. I don't know if you heard that, you're going to excuse the neighbour's children, they're having a great old time. So I'm going to blow the edges out a little bit guys. Excellent. Well, that's looking quite pretty. You can see a couple more bubbles there, so let's just pop their little party. Excellent. We've got some interesting cell action happening here and some fantastic cell action happening right there. I'm going to gently pick it up. Hopefully you can see those. I'm talking about the beautiful groovy groovy cells that are happening there with the groovy and the and the funk. Okay, so the pillows come underneath itself really nicely. I'm just going to yeah, move it over a little bit. Excellent. Okay, we're on a slightly larger canvas now, so we're going to start nice and slow because we want the pillow to come to the edge and then over the edge of the canvas onto the board, not come flying off. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, that grew rather beautifully. I think I used just a little bit too much pillow paint. But here we go guys. It's very pretty. So, I'm just going to mop up the edges of the paint because we don't want that coming off. Just see on a couple of the edges that the paint's just not making it over, so I'm just going to help it there with my palette knife. If you see any bits of the edge of the canvas that, that haven't got paint on, it's always best just to help it over because when we give it another spin, that will help it flow off evenly all the way around and we'll get a nice bloom. Okay, time for the second spin, guys. Okay, really got to be careful spinning here, guys, because I'm not in my spinning area, just on my workbench. Pretty, pretty good. Okay, so we need to give it another spin. Another spin. some fantastic cells right here. It's these beautiful groovy and funky cells that um, let me try and pick it up so you can have a see. <laughs> Pretty spectacular. <laughs> okay, we need to give it a, another little spin here guys. She's looking pretty great but we've still got a bit of paint movement so she needs and wants one more, one more spin. Wow, 
Okay, yeah. One more spin. <laughs> one more spin, one more spin. Always one more spin. Bingo. There we go. So, we have, haven't got too much movement anymore, guys. I'm going to call this done. As always, thank you for watching my kitchen sink pause. I'm so glad I videoed this one because, as you can see, it came out pretty good, If I, even if I do say so myself. Excellent. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and share my videos. Leave a comment if you like. They're active. And as always, my friends, happy pouring. So here's the close-up, guys. I thought I'd start with the middle, which is pretty groovy. It's these groovy and funk cells over here I was talking about. Just absolutely gorgeous. Excuse the shaky footage. As I just pan out so you can see the whole piece. Excellent. Well, there you go. A quite a successful kitchen sink pour. Thank you very much, my friends. And as I've said before, happy pouring. <laughs>